welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for fried okra. Now this okra is going to be plain. Some of you may like it with potatoes and you can add potatoes to this recipe if you like. But today I'm just making it plain. And for this I have here some okras. It's about a pound and you need to wash and dry your okras before you start slicing them. Also for this recipe I have here one medium onion that I chopped up. A heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, one hot pepper chopped, and to prepare the okra, this is how we do it. You cut the tips and the tops off, and you're just going to do that for all of them before we start to slice them. Okay, so I just took the tops and the bottoms off, and you want to go ahead and slice these like... A quarter of an inch thick you don't want them too too thick so just keep slicing them until you've sliced out all so I finished slicing up my okra and what you want to do is this is very slimy when you're cutting it you'll see how slimy it is so I either leave this overnight on the countertop covered so that the slime will dry out or as we do it in Trinidad you can put it out into the sun make sure you put it somewhere covered where the sun can hit it and it will help dry out that slime so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let this dry and then it will take about an hour or two depending on how hot the sun is and then I'll come back in and show you all how I fry it up so my okra just came out from the sun it's nice and dry and what I'm going to do next is put up my pot on medium high heat and I'm going to add enough vegetable oil. Now okra needs a lot of oil to help it fry. Let that oil heat up and then we'll move on. When your oil is nice and warm, you're going to add in your onions. To your onions, add your garlic and your hot pepper. Now you don't want the garlic to burn, so make sure you have your heat on medium. Add in your okra, the garlic and the the onions they're going to caramelize more while the okra is cooking add a little salt to taste you could always add more when it's finished you'll just taste it and you're going to leave this after you mix up you're going to leave it to fry on medium heat and do not do not turn this regularly because you want the okra to maintain its integrity. If you overturn this, you're going to mash up everything and it's just going to be one hot mess. So just as it develops a crust on the bottom, you come in and turn it. You want to come in and check it. You see it's now starting to brown. You just want to turn it up so it doesn't burn it. And you're going to keep doing this until the okra is nice and golden brown. So my okra is finished and I went ahead and I just put the pot on an angle so that all that oil can drain off to one side because you don't want to be eating all of that oil obviously. So just let all of your oil drain out and then your okra will be ready. So here you have it, my fried okra. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe and I will see you all in my next video. Enjoy!